Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is populating next right pointers in each node. So the question says you're given a perfect binary tree where all leaves are on the same level and every parent has two children. So that's what the perfect binary tree means. The binary tree has the following definition. So each node of the binary tree would have a value, a left and a right pointer and in addition a next pointer as well. Okay, Populate each pointer to point to its next right node. So here the right node does not mean the right child. It means the node that is in the right of that particular node in the tree. right? If there is no next right node, the next pointer should be set to null. Initially, all next pointers for all the nodes are set to null. You may use constant extra space. Recursive approach is fine. You may assume implicit stack space does not count as extra space for this problem. So for example, we have this tree, right? And this is the output that we need. So here, as you can see, that one does not have any node to its right in the tree. That is why its next pointer is pointing to null. But for two, we have three. So two's next pointer is pointing to three. And since three, again, does not have anything on the right, that is pointing to null. And then on the last level also, you can see four points to five, five points to six, six points to seven, and seven points to null, right? All right. So let's have a look at the approaches we can take to solve this question. So whenever there is a question on tree, it's basically around how you are traversing that, that tree, right? You might have to use a combination of other collections or some variables uh, to, to be able to accomplish that. But it's, it's basically all around how you traverse the tree. And there are four traversal techniques for a tree, which are listed here. So Please pause the video, have a look and come back. So I think um, this question is just an indirect implementation for the level order, because if you see in level order, um, the way the elements are obtained, if you do a level order traversal for the tree, they, they are in exact same order in which we want the next pointers to be pointing to the next elements. So 8 should be pointing to null because that's the end of the first level. Then if you see 5 and 4 form one level, so a level, so 5 should point to 4 and then 4 should point to null. And then for 9, 7, 11 and then so on. So, so we will be doing a level order traversal here, I think, but we just need to find a way to tweak it in some way that we take care of managing this next pointer as well. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, we're already given information about this node. Uh, we know these are the fields, right? Well, left, right, and next. Okay, so talking about the level order traversal, the idea behind it is that we make use of a queue, okay, and we start traversing the tree from the node root, okay? And initially we push root to the queue, okay? And whenever we finish a level, a level in the tree, we also add a null to the queue, right? So initially since root is the only, always is the only element at its own level, we insert the root and null to the queue. Now, we basically have to keep traversing until our queue is empty. So what we'll do is that we pull the element, which is in the front of the queue, which will initially be root. And then we do a certain number of checks, right? So if, if, we, if that element, which is at the top of the queue, is a null, it means that we have reached the end of a particular level in the tree. And that means that we have, so the previous level is over and we have traversed, like we have inserted all the children of that node in the queue. 
So we want to mark that as well in the queue by inserting another null. Okay. Now, if at the same time the queue has become empty, then it means all the levels have been traversed and null was the only element. So then it means that we can return our answer or whatever we want to do after the traversal is done. And then the third and the last option is that we actually get a node, right, which is a node of the tree. So we just check it for a left or and a right uh, in the order left and right, because that's how we want to traverse it in level order traversal. And we insert a left and a right into the queue because that is how they will be retrieved given the property of queue. So what we will be doing here is that for each element, whenever we pull that element, whichever is the current element in consideration, we'll just do a peak, okay? And the peak could be null if that level is ending. So we'll still just point the next pointer to that. Um, and it could be another element, for example, for four, five, and six. So we'll still point it to the, the element that is in the, in the, at the top of the queue after we have done a pull. So I think that's how we will try to attain this task. Let's get started and I think the code will make it clear. Okay, so uh, just a simple base check, always good to do it. If the root itself is null, then there's nothing that we can do. We just return a null as well, right. Now let's create a queue of nodes, right? And let's just call it this. It's an implementation of linked list in Java and hence we are like doing this, right? And as, as I was saying, we'll just add the root to it and we'll also add null to it, right? So this basically covers the first level in the queue, right? Now, so unless this is not empty, the queue is not empty, we want to keep traversing because as long as the queue has elements, it means that the tree traversal is not done yet. <clears throat> right. So while the queue is not empty, what we want to do is that let's just get the current, sorry, uh, the current, which is queue.pull, right? So that's just the element at the top of the queue. Okay. Now, as I was saying that there could be multiple cases, like we could have, you know, um, current could be null, right? So first of all, let's just check if all elements of the tree are done and this was the last null of the last level in the tree. So that would happen if current is equals to null and Q is empty, right? Because there wouldn't be anything else left in the queue. So if that's the case, then we are done and we just return root, right? Because ultimately that's what we have to return, right? We'll just have to populate the next pointers and return the root again. So we just return the root else. Okay, if that's not the case, then is still current null? Then it means that we have reached the end of some level in the tree and we would be basically just putting another null into the tree. Okay, so we just do uh, this, right? Otherwise, okay, and we just want it to continue, right? We don't want it to do anything else. We just want it to continue with the other iteration. Otherwise, it's, it's a node, right? So what we do is that if our element, so with that element, what we do is that we have to update its pointer. That's the next pointer. So it's called next equals to q dot peak, right? So peak will not remove the element from the queue. It will just read the element at the top of the queue. So, and that's what we need to do, right? So we just set this, okay? And then 
we check if the left is not equals to null right we just insert that so we just say that q dot add current dot left okay and also if current dot right is not equal to null because we want to continue traversing the array so this is a part of the level order traversal current dot right okay yeah so um okay i had gone way too much with this so that's all right that's all we want to do basically and once we are done with this we just return the root okay right so let's see if this works Looks like let's try submitting. Great, that works. So the time complexity for this would be O of n because we have traversed all the elements just once. Um, and the space complexity would be constant O of 1 because we have not used any other collection. Uh, or rather we if, if we take into consideration the Q then it would be O of N but if for example the question says that if you are using a stack it does not count as any extra space then we can call it O of 1. So I really hope that you find this video helpful in understanding the level order traversal in a better way for trees and if you do please like share and subscribe keep coding and take care guys.